guys, I'm Takara. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm glad to have you. As you guys saw in the title, we have a fun video today. I am going to be collaborating with some of my favorite girlies here on YouTube and we're going to be sharing some fragrances that we were influenced to buy by other content creators here on YouTube and we're going to be telling you who those content creators are. This collaboration was initiated by my girl Maria or it's MJ here on YouTube and I think it's an amazing idea because it is a great way for us to pretty much give credit where it's due. Um, and to share the love. <laughs> we want to thank these people that we're going to be mentioning in the video for recommending these fragrances and sharing them with you guys so you can go check them out as well. So, like I said, Maria initiated it. So she is one of the people that I am collabing with on this video. And I will try to have their information on the screen, but for sure it'll be down in the description box because there is quite a few of us. I will have their videos linked down in my description box as well. So you can all make sure that you go check them out after you watch this one. Um, so like I said, Maria, AKA is MJ here on YouTube. We also have my girl, Jeanne, AKA Jeanne Antoinette here on YouTube. We have my girl Anna, aka Anna Absolute here on YouTube. We have my girl Becky, aka Rebecca Collazo here on YouTube. We have my girl Nav, aka Navadine Antoinette here on YouTube. And last but not least, we have my girl Manahil from the perfume realm here on YouTube. So like I said, I will have all of their videos linked down in my description box. So make sure you go check those out after you leave here. And everyone who I will be mentioning in the video as far as who recommended what fragrance to me, I'll have their channels linked down in my description box as well so you can go check their channels out as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. So I am going to be reading the main accords off of fragrance to you guys in this video. But the first fragrance I have here is Girl of Now Forever by Ellie Saab. And I did try to pick fragrances that you guys hadn't seen before on my channel to keep it a little spicy, you know. <laughs> but this fragrance purchase was influenced by Paulina Shar here on YouTube. And what's crazy about it is <laughs> the reason why I purchased this um, fragrance based off of her recommendation was simply because she said she's not a huge fan of fruity fragrances but she liked this one and i actually like fruity fragrances so i don't know why that encouraged me to make the purchase but yeah that's what it was <laughs> so the main accords for this one are fruity sweet vanilla citrus almond and woody now you guys have seen the original girl now on my channel this one and that one don't smell similar at all to me in my opinion um with this one it is, uh, to me, it smells like a raspberry, um, grapefruit, and almond scent. It's like a sweet raspberry, grapefruit, vanilla, and almond scent. And I find it to be fairly linear, like it stays the same way from the beginning to the dry down. Um, but what's interesting about this is I say grapefruit, but it doesn't have a grapefruit note. I think the note is actually lemon zest but the lemon zest in this reminds me of grapefruit. Yeah, it's a bit powdery too, but it's a really nice fragrance and y'all, this is beast mode. I'm talking about this like, <laughs> like y'all know what this is. <laughs> this is a beast mode fragrance. It lasts and lasts and lasts. When I tell you this fragrance lasts on me until I shower and wash it off, it lasts. It's very long lasting. And it has great performance as well. So much so that I can't spray too much of this on because it will give me a headache. <laughs> um, yeah, it's that strong. It has, I'd say, a heavy projection. And CIs as well. And it's very long lasting on the skin. And don't get it on your clothes. Do not get it on your clothes because it's not coming out until you wash it. Period. But here's another interesting thing. I don't know if this happens to some of you guys, but when I am like trying fragrances, sometimes I'll be trying a new fragrance and I'm like, I've smelled 
something like this before. This smells like something that I've smelled before. And that's what happened when I was wearing this. I'm like, this smells like something either that I have or that I have tested. And I finally figured it out. I've never seen anybody say this or <laughs> um, read it on for granted or anything, but this is just my opinion. It's not a dupe or anything, but they have a similar vibe. So I think if you like this fragrance I'm about to tell you about and you like uh, free fragrances as well, I think you'll, you'll like this fragrance. But the fragrance that I'm talking about is Jessica Simpson Fancy. I know. Sounds crazy, right? There's no raspberry or grapefruit and fancy. <laughs> but that's the thing. This to me, it smells like what fancy would smell like if you added a grapefruit and raspberry notes and you removed the caramel notes from fancy. So if you just had like the, I think it's the vanilla notes and the almond note in this fragrance that um, have similarities to the Fancy Fragrance because the Fancy Fragrance also has those two notes. So, I don't know. Literally when I smell these, when I smell this fragrance, I think Fancy. Fancy with raspberry and grapefruit and without caramel, like I said. So yeah, that sounds interesting to you. I think you'd like this fragrance. I do like this fragrance, but um, it's not a love. I like it, I enjoy it. I just have to be in the mood for it because it's a lot, like I said. So yeah, like I said, I picked this up based off of a video that I watched from Paulina Shar. So thanks, girl. So the next fragrance I have here is Babe Power from Misguided. Here's what that looks like. The can, I think, is, I don't know. It kind of looks like a, a soda can, <laughs> um, like aluminum. Interesting packaging, and look at the top. <laughs> it's not really a pop top, but it looks like it, and you press this part down to spray the fragrance. But I purchased this based off of a video that I watched from somebody I recently found on YouTube and subscribed to, and her name is Coco Pebs here on YouTube. and. Y'all, <laughs> the video where she was talking about this fragrance, just the entire video, she was like telling a story for each fragrance and talking about like, I don't know, it was the way she was describing them all that made me want like every fragrance that she was discussing in the video, even though some of them probably wouldn't work for me based off of the notes, but the way she described them, I'm like, I need it in my life. And this one in particular, when she started talking about it, she put the notes up on the screen and I'm like, oh, that looks right up my alley. So of course, I went on Fragrantica. Oh, look y'all, like I said, you have to press down. It's kind of wonky <laughs> pushing it down, but it works. But anyway, after I got done watching her video, I went on Fragrantica and looked this up because I'd never heard of it. And um, apparently it's supposed to be a dupe for Hypnotic Poison. I can't confirm or deny. I've never tried that fragrance before. But this is really unique. I purchased mine on Mercari and I got it for a steal. <laughs> I had to have it just based off of how she described it and reading reviews. The reviews were really good too. Um, I like it though. I really like it. But like I said, it's really unique. Let me read the main accords off of fragrance because before I forget. <laughs> So the main accords on Fragrantica are sweet, fruity, vanilla, powdery, white floral, and musky. So yeah, it's definitely a sweet fragrance. Um, and like I said, it's fruity. It's a fruity, warm scent in my opinion. And I haven't like, I don't know. It's, it's different. I haven't smelled many fragrances that smell similar to this. Um, it has a cherry note and the cherry note is pretty prominent to me and I don't think it has a grapefruit note, but it smells like it has, um, something that's tart and citrusy like that, like a grapefruit note in it, in the beginning especially. Um, the cherry note sticks around the entire wear. It stays fruity throughout the entire wear, but the fruitiness starts to settle a bit as it dries down. 
and once it dries down more of the vanilla and the um, almond scent that it has comes out it's a really unique scent like I said and I really enjoy it like that combination I don't know it's actually not that I've described it out loud. It kind of sounds like the girl now forever, but they don't smell anything alike. Like, yeah, I don't know. That's the best I got for y'all. <laughs> Go see how Coco Pips described it. <laughs> but I do really enjoy this and I am glad I picked it up. So thanks to Coco for her video and her amazing description of this fragrance. So the next fragrance I have here is Prada Candy Gloss. And this is the pink one. And I purchased this one based off of a video I watched from my girl, Valley Vaughn here on YouTube. She described this as smelling like cherry candy and I was on a cherry kick <laughs> a little while ago. And this is one of the ones that I just, I had to have just based off her description of it. She said she loved it. And um, we have a similar taste in fragrance from what I can tell. So I was like, I trust her opinion. And of course I did my research. I go on fragrance Garika reviews and watch reviews on YouTube and all that good stuff. And I decided that I needed it. <laughs> and this is actually one that I smelled very briefly in Sephora once on just the tester strip. I've never tested it on my skin, but yeah, I liked it on the strip. Um, so I wasn't really scared to buy it either. So her review on it just further encouraged me to go ahead and pick it up. So the main accords on Fragrantica are fruity, sweet, almond, nutty, and vanilla. So yeah, this is um this is an interesting one as well. This one smells <laughs> this smells like cherry chapstick to me. Like it's powdery and um almost like that makeup-y lipsticky vibe that um, some fragrances tend to have like that powdery makeup scent but cherry powdery makeup scent yeah it's really nice the most prominent notes in this to my nose are the cherry the almond and the vanilla so yeah really nice i enjoy it and um for a product candy fragrance this one performs pretty well on my skin. It projects for a good two to three hours on my skin, which is good for a product fragrance. They're normally pretty soft, so I can smell this one like projecting off my skin for a few hours. And longevity wise, it's, I mean, about six hours. It's not too bad. But yeah, product candy gloss purchased based off of Valley Vaughn's recommendation. So thanks, girl. Now this next one you guys have actually seen before. If you guys watched my first fragrance video it was included in that video um, my fragrance collection video and that is Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabia here's what it looks like excuse the smudges I tried to wipe it off a little bit but that didn't help <laughs> but I purchased this based off of the recommendation of Mila LeBlanc here on YouTube I love her channel <laughs> I love her personality but, um, oh, it smells so good. I haven't worn this outside of my house. <laughs> and I haven't worn it in months because it's hot here right now and I can't wear this in the heat, it's too much. But I, I do really wanna wear it outside of my house. So when it's cold, that's gonna be my objective. When it cools down some, I'm wearing this outside. <laughs> I haven't had the courage to do so yet. But the reason why I purchased it based on her recommendation. Um, was because she said that it was a dupe for Ooh Bouquet by Lancome. And at the time I hadn't tried Ooh Bouquet, but I wanted to. <laughs> so I don't know why, for some reason, I felt like it made more sense to purchase a dupe <laughs> and inexpensive dupe because this was like $30 on Amazon and Ooh Bouquet. Um, you can find it for about $90, the old formulation. Um, but it retails for like 200 and something dollars. So I don't know why it made more sense to me to purchase a dupe <laughs> than to sample the original fragrance. I was thinking like, I don't know. I guess I wanted a full bottle of something at the time. 
um, because ninety dollars. I purchased a fragrance for ninety dollars. I would not purchase it for two hundred plus. But yeah, this is oh my gosh, this is so good. I haven't smelled this in a while, y'all. Let me read the main course, y'all, for granted to come before I tell you what I think. So the main course are sweet oud, vanilla, rose, and warm spicy. Well, it pretty much just tells you everything that I think about this. Um, yeah, this is exactly that. This is a sweet rose vanilla oud fragrance. Yep. There's a spiciness from the saffron note in it, but it's like a soft spiciness. It's not like um, super spicy. It's just a really nice oud. And I feel like this would be a good beginner oud fragrance for someone who likes sweet gourmand fragrances because it's like a combination of a gourmand with oud. Um, oud is an acquired sense. The first time I smelled this, I was like, whoa. It was sharp and it was loud and I didn't know how I felt about it. <laughs> I thought it was interesting, we'll say that. I didn't, I didn't like it, but I didn't dislike it, if that makes sense. Um, it was one of those fragrances that I had to try out more to figure out how I felt about it, and that happens sometimes. And I was expecting that anyway because that was my first running with Oud. I didn't know what to expect. Now, this just, I don't even hardly smell the oud in it now that I've gotten used to what oud smells like. It kind of just, it just smells good to me. It just smells really nice. Um, I prefer this to the original formulation of Lancome Oud Bouquet. I think I've told you guys that. Maybe, I don't know if I mentioned that about this particular fragrance, but yeah, it smells similar. It does smell similar, but the Oud and Oud Bouquet, the original formulation, I haven't tried the new one, but the original formulation of Oud Bouquet, the Oud in it smells like, like the barnyard Oud. It smells kind of, it smells animalic and it kind of bothers me. There's different types of oud. I've smelled like a clean oud. I've smelled the barnyard oud. And barnyard oud literally, it, I mean, it, it smells how it sounds. It smells like a barnyard. <laughs> um, uh, but this oud and this, I feel like it's, um, it's a lot more toned down. Like I feel like the other notes in this fragrance, they kind of share the spotlight versus oud bouquet where the oud is like, bam in your face but yeah i love this and i'm glad i picked it up um i don't think i'm gonna pick up food bouquet because like i said i prefer this one maybe if i test the new formulation i might like that one more but the original formulation i prefer this one too and i also have another fragrance that smells like food bouquet as well so i really don't need it right now i have two in my collection that are um in the same fragrance family but yeah if that sounds good to you then I recommend picking it up and I want to thank Mila for her recommendation because she was the first uh, YouTuber that I saw talking about this fragrance. After I watched her video, I went and watched some other ones, but it wasn't hardly anything at that time. Um, there weren't many reviews on this fragrance on YouTube. So I went based off of her recommendation and then reading reviews on Fragrantica. But I love this and the performance beast mode. It's another one of those fragrances that's gonna stay on your skin until you shower and gonna stay on your clothes forever. <laughs> not forever, but you know, until you wash them. Even then, it might not come completely out. <laughs> but yeah, that is Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. So, last but not least, we have Amo Ferragamo from Salvatore Ferragamo. Here's what that looks like. So let me look it up real quick here on fragrance because so I can read the main accords to you guys. So the main accords are fruity, vanilla, aromatic, woody, and balsamic. Now, I picked this fragrance up based off of the recommendation of Delicious Delights here on YouTube. She raved about this fragrance so much in several videos. <laughs> I think I've seen a couple or a few videos where she's discussed this particular fragrance. Oh my gosh. So I picked it up because she described it as smelling like orange sherbet, 
or I believe she said an orange soda with vanilla ice cream, if I'm not mistaken. But the orange sherbet is what's, what got me. I'm like, oh. I'm like, I wanna smell like orange sherbet. <laughs> um, people were saying it smelled like a, a orange cream sickle and I already have a fragrance that I feel like smells like that. Uh, Gold Sugar by uh, Aqualina, I feel like smells like a orange cream sickle. So I was, if that's why it took me a minute to purchase this particular fragrance, but oh my gosh. Y'all, I love the initial spray of this fragrance. And I did actually see another review. Uh, Gabby loves perfume here on YouTube. I like her channel as well. Um, she's a newer uh, fragrance reviewer, but I'm loving her channel. She said exactly what I was thinking. And I actually posted a review on fragrance because saying what she said in her video. Um, and then I saw her video, I'm like, yes. <laughs> Somebody else sees what I'm saying. But anyway, <laughs> let me tell y'all what I'm thinking. Um, like I said, I love the initial spray. I love it. I, I like this perfume a lot in general, but the initial spray is my favorite. You get that orange sherbet scent that um, Delicious Delights was talking about. And it's so, oh my gosh, it's so bright. And it's like a sparkling orange sherbet scent, in my opinion, that you get upon the first spray. And it's short-lived on me. It's too short-lived. Like, when it dries down, I still smell that sparkling orange sherbet vibe on my skin. Um, if I put my nose to the area where I sprayed it, but the scent that it projects, after about 30 minutes, I don't get much of that scent anymore at all. After that, the scent that it projects is more of like this woody, uh, vanilla fragrance that I get and it's still nice but I just wish that the orange sherbet scent stuck around a bit longer personally the dry down is like on my skin the dry down I get uh, mostly sandalwood and vanilla and the sandalwood in this doesn't bother me I actually like it in this so it, it becomes like a woody vanilla scent in the dry down which is still nice but I just wish <sighs> it makes me sad talking about this particular fragrance because I want the orange sherbet the entire time because <laughs> it smells so good like I find that when I am wearing this particular fragrance I will go in and respray it once I stop smelling the orange sherbet scent projecting off of my skin because I just want to <laughs> I just want to um, smell the top notes over and over again. Not because it's like disappeared from my skin or anything, because it'll still be there. But I do, I'm glad I have it though. I am. At least I got to experience the orange shirt for a short period of time. <laughs> so I want to thank Delicious Delights for reviewing it and um, encouraging me to purchase this particular fragrance. By the way, all these fragrances were blind buys except for the Prada Candy. Like I said, I sprayed it in Sephora on a texture strip, but I hadn't tested it on skin, so technically I still consider it a blind buy because it was so soft on a texture strip. I remember thinking it was nice, but I can't remember exactly what it smelled like, so we're just gonna say they're all blind buys. <laughs> but yeah, that is it, you guys. Um, make sure that you go check out all of my girls that I told you about in the beginning of the video that I'm collabing with. Go check out their videos. Like I said, I will have their information linked down in the description box. And go check out everybody's channel that I mentioned in this video as well. I think you will enjoy watching them too. I will have their information linked down in the description box as well. And I will link all the fragrances down in the description box as usual, just in case you wanna look into them as well. But yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. And also, let me know down in the comments of a fragrance that you picked up based off of someone's recommendation. And also, if it's somebody on YouTube, let me know who it was down in the comments. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching again. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.